gonna hurt your eyes. I'm fine. All right, I warned you. Welcome back, everyone. I'm doing something a little bit different today that, yes, relates to the technology side of the channel, but it serves as a conceptual prototype by a company called Easy or Ease Eye that could effectively spark a much needed change in the way that we visualize harsh monitor conditions and energy consumption. So let's go check it out. Ezai has developed the world's first naturally backlit monitor to solve the issues with traditional LCDs that rely on artificial backlighting, which can cause eye strain. By leveraging ambient light instead of artificial light for backlighting purposes, Ezai's monitor offers numerous benefits, including reduced eye strain and lower energy consumption. The great Steve Jobs himself left us with products that truly changed the world by providing better modes of communication with computer technology. He wasn't always successful with the inventions, but he didn't give up his ambition to succeed. Innovation is the calling card of our future. He was even quoted as saying that innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. So today, we have yet another innovative product by Ezai that I must say at first had me scratching my head. After digesting the overall concept, I began to realize that this prototype will spark new ideas that could quite possibly change the current perception of sitting at a computer for hours on end. We have heard of the health risks most of our lives, by our mothers, <laughs> sitting too close to a television, or degradation of our vision because of office work over time. Just like ensuring that you don't stare at a bright light while trying to adjust your night vision, color temperature has that same effect in broad daylight. What Ezai is attempting to tap into is a way to naturally backlight monitors while using significantly less valuable energy. By eliminating factors that can contribute to eye strain, such as glare, flicker, and blue light, and by matching the lighting of that natural environment, Ezai promises an effective and affordable solution to eye strain without the extra drawbacks commonly seen in modern displays. Our lives are becoming increasingly digitized and keeping our eyes healthy will be ever more important in the future for everyone that spends a lot of time in front of a screen. With this particular prototype, it consumes around 5 watts of power with the backlight turned off, where a standard 24 inch consumes around 40 watts. So having the option to save money with electricity while enjoying a healthier viewing experience, you can't really go wrong with this. Being at the early stages of this process, I wouldn't get wrapped up around the build design. As you know, this will change based on user feedback. So almost every aspect of this, this design will improve over time. So let's take a bit closer look at the potential benefits of Ezai's new innovation. This magnetized panel on the back can be adjusted to allow that preferred amount of light to complement your viewing experience and your environment. And it uses a highly reflective coating that they've taken a lot of effort into making sure that it was evenly balanced. And it's enforced with a little bit of Kevlar coating on the backside, so it sure lasts quite some time. After a year of prototyping and design, Ezai has devised a dual coating that ensures the light can be directed into the LCD panel evenly. With this coating that's more reflective, Ezai can allow a higher percentage of ambient overhead lighting to be reflected into the panel. In situations where the Ezai monitor is insufficiently bright, the LED strip may be used in conjunction with that natural lighting. With a combination of natural light and LED light, Ezai not only ensures that the monitor viewing experience is comfortable, but also energy efficient, especially compared to a computer monitor that is fully backlit by LEDs. Blending your mind's eye with the ambient temperature will ensure you use less strain when adapting to harsher lighting environments while avoiding harmful blue light projection. They have considered VESA mounting in this current build and so far seems preferred over the existing stand. It took a bit of figuring out to install because there's a tiny magnet that needs to be removed and reattached when the arm is in place and it omits the use of screws. I had my concerns at first, but after moving this monitor all around while making this video, it just works. 
and the concept is actually intuitive, so I look forward to a stronger iteration of that patent. The button system will also be a big ticket item for improvement. Markings or some sort of indications on the front would be nice because you have to play around with those for a bit to understand and get used to navigating the menu. Maybe a joystick menu or something. The standard menus are fairly easy to understand and we can just take a glance at it for a second and it's probably something that you've not seen before and you couldn't figure out on your own, but it's probably going to improve. Now, the purpose of this video is to gain attention from investors and inventors to support a crowdfunding campaign surrounding visual health and environmental challenges. As I mentioned, this is just a prototype and a few content creators were given this and asked to test it, share it, and provide feedback. So you will also have an opportunity to provide valuable input in the success of this new idea. You might even have questions and sometimes those questions can spark new ideas. So feel free to comment down below about anything concerning this monitor and we'll see what we can do. Crowdfunding isn't an easy thing for small companies to do because they invest almost everything they have into a project to get it off the ground. So just to nerd out for a second, as a matter of fact, the 38% uh, of all crowdfunding campaigns are fully funded and only 22% of all of those crowdfunding campaigns wind up being successful. So having that good idea and gaining attention of investors is very important in the beginning. And this is where we're at. So after testing this monitor, it shows a lot of potential. And yes, I can see a future where the technology will be helpful, but this prototype serves as a first step in the right direction in maintaining eye health and sustainable energy. I can appreciate the effort in reinventing popular technology that improves our everyday lives. However, this first iteration has a few drawbacks and that's with uneven ambient lighting in regards to direct sunlight reflection. And when the internal lighting is on in a bright indoor environment but still doesn't seem enough, the only way to increase the brightness is to supply yet another source of direct light. This is kind of counterintuitive. But it still uses much less power than average monitors. So the build quality of this is going to get better over time via the feedback of yourself and the tech reviewer community. But the company has been very forthcoming of their known downfalls, but seem very motivated to enhance small discrepancies. So keep all of those comments flowing and we'll see what we can do to help them out. With LCD technology becoming increasingly ubiquitous in our lives, innovations like these are sure to shape the future of visual display technology. Many of our lives depend on computers and they aren't going away anytime soon, so making the most of our health while contributing to a sustainable future of technology has never been more important. I hope you enjoyed this and I invite you to subscribe as I return to more drone tech and camera reviews, but I'll always make room for any new inventions or innovations to share with you all. Please hit that like button on the way out and I will see you all in the next video. Well, 